Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel, Life and Style Ish. I'm India. I'm so glad you're here. Stay tuned to see how I transform my patio to this beautiful space after a long winter. I also made some changes in the garden boxes below that I want to show you. I'm so excited to share these updates and changes, and they're all coming up next. First, I pull all the seeds I had stored away last season. Looking at the inventory as it's laid out, I have some sweet pepper seeds, some carrots, uh, some spinach. Anything in the clear Ziploc bags are seeds that I collected from all my plants and uh, vegetables and flowers last year. A hybrid tomato. So let me show you these. Gonna put them in the light. So yeah. There they are. So yeah, I've got a six pack of those. This is actually what I went up there for. <laughs> so I got some cilantro, some more cilantro. I got some strawberries. So yeah, these foodie fresh sweet berry strawberries. So I got this because it already has a little flower on it. And there was, I think, a little strawberry here somewhere. Yeah, I think there was like a little tiny strawberry. So yeah, I went ahead and got that one. So there's like a couple in here, it's a couple plants. And I got three bags of garden soil. I got, ooh, sorry, I'm back up a little bit. <laughs> some onions, I got some red tip lettuce, I got the actual spinach this time, I have all of these that I'm going to be putting in pots, so I have these pots here, these are good seed starters so I'm going to use those for my seeds for a lot of them. This is a ceramic basket a friend of mine gave me. I grew strawberries in it last year while at the Lowe's Garden Center. They were selling pots of mixed salad greens, similar to the ones pictured here. I wanted to recreate it for myself, and I'll show you that a little bit later. Here, what I'm doing is just harvesting the collard greens from the plants that I planned on pulling out of the box altogether. I didn't want to just pull them and throw them away. I wanted to go ahead and harvest the collard greens that had already started growing. Okay, first batch pulled. I sped this portion of the video up as much as I could. Here I've pulled all the collard greens, keeping seven plants, which is plenty for my household of three. On the other end to the right are the tomato plants. Here I'm planting the romaine lettuce towards the front next to the spinach. And then I'll be putting in the red tip lettuce um, last. All right, hey guys, uh, we are at the end of day two or day three, I'm not sure how long, maybe like a couple days I've been working on this, but yeah, I didn't even get to any of the stuff here on the balcony, but I, um, yeah, I thought it did pretty well as far as like um, clearing the, um, the area down below. So yeah, let me just um, kind of show you that and then show you all the collard greens that I got. Um, so yeah, I kept seven collard green plants here. And then the, the spinach is here, and then the lettuce is around there, and those are my tomatoes. I didn't get to the onions, which are down there, and I didn't get to the pepper plants. I have not, oh, and then sweeping all of this out of here, and um, I have not even done any of these yet. So yeah, still haven't gotten to these, and I gotta sweep that. What else? <laughs> so much it's like so much oh strawberries I have to figure out where those are going um, I don't want to put them on the ground because I'm afraid they're gonna get eaten down there so I'm gonna keep them up here but I need a big enough container for those so I still haven't gotten those in the ground yet um, these are all fine still have these extra pots here and I still have to clear all of that but this bag let me show you so when I cleared all those plants all those um, collard greens I just pulled all the leaves off so I have a gigantic almost full 
can see it's like I almost full of one of these large bags. Uh, so that's full of collard greens. So probably cook them down, freeze them, give some away, um, and do all that. Because that's a lot. That's way more. And that's exactly why. <laughs> that's, ex that's from all the plants that we ended up getting rid of. That's exactly why, because it's way too many. Um, and like I said, uh, this is, I think for the amount of collard greens that we eat, that is plenty. Seven plants is going to be plenty. So yeah, and I wanted to free up all the space for the things that we do eat on a regular basis, which is the lettuce, the tomatoes, um, and the onions down there, and the spinach, because we use those a lot. So yeah, so that is done for now. Like I said, I have to go water them. I'm gonna water them, and then I am done for the night. Hey guys, okay, so what I'm gonna do is have all these um, popsicle sticks that I purchased to use with my resin, but I have so many. Um, I think I got these probably from the dollar store. Instead of getting more of those signs from uh, Amazon that I purchased before, I still have a handful of those. I'm gonna use those as well, but um, for the rest, I'm gonna use these popsicle sticks. I figured this is an easy way to just stake what I have out in the garden, and I know really quickly, and it's gonna last, you know, it's pretty, uh, sturdy wood, so it's going to last the rest of the year. So I'm gonna After planting all of the edible items, I move on to the flowering plants. So I'm just spreading the seeds kind of randomly um, throughout the, the two leftover um, plant pots that I have here. So yeah, just spreading those out over the dirt. And those will go in between um, the edible plants. So I have everything planted in there and the strawberries are on top. All the um, vegetables and fruit I labeled, the ones that I have the seeds, the ones that aren't labeled are the ones that have the flowers in them. So I wanted a mixture of flowers in between the plants. So yeah, that's what I'm doing there. I went ahead and broke up the lounger. Um, I'm not sure where the other two cushions are. So the two cushions are missing. But I wanted to go ahead and split this up anyway, so because this is such a large seating area, it's pretty large. So um, just to break up the seating area and this large space, I put the other piece over here. And then also it won't look quite as odd with this um, not having a cushion, and this does. And um, yeah, so I'm going to take a break, 30 minutes, get something to drink, need some water, and uh, get something to eat. Uh, and then get back to it in probably about an hour, hour and a half. So yeah, but it's beautiful out here today. I could actually just lay out here and just relax. I need to get some water and something to eat. So yeah, I'm gonna be heading in. After my much needed break, I went ahead, came back outside and finished up the planting. Um, and these are just some green bell pepper plants. So yeah, just going ahead and putting those in. And then after that, I go ahead and put in my um, my sweet onions and here it is I'm so happy how this turned out and um, really just took a lot of you know mostly cleaning and just kind of uncovering a few things here and there but I'm really happy with how everything turned out we have like a little lounge area it's like one of my favorite spots to just sit in with a book or my iPad and just chill out 
and because it's got the cover I don't have to worry about the Sun and uh, it's, like I said it's a really large seating area so you can lay down and take a quick a good nap or just chill with a good book here um, it's more of an area I guess for just sitting for a little while chilling out and uh, just getting a nice little cup of coffee in the morning um, and then I put the table there just because there is no other table and there I um, it's like a little seating area here I do need a little table just for um, snacks or drinks there in the corner but I like that that one you have the umbrella so you don't have to worry about the Sun either I love this little tower and it's gonna be cool watching everything grow and um, all the little seedlings pop up from there and um, yeah, so I have my, all my little plants, everything that survived over the year. And I'm just gonna, tomorrow I'm just gonna be probably chilling out, just enjoying, you know, the, a day in the sun. I think it's supposed to be 79 degrees tomorrow, so I'm definitely gonna be enjoying this little spot tomorrow. All my hard work has finally paid off for this to just be able to chill and um, relax. So yeah, I absolutely love how everything turned out. Alright, here is the new and improved garden. Everything is still getting acclimated, so some things are um, not quite as perky. <laughs> but here are the tomatoes. They're there. This is the romaine lettuce, which looks like it's already doing really well, so that's cool. Um, spinach is there. This is... Uh, red leaf lettuce. Yeah, so that's red leaf lettuce right there. And I have one here, here, and here. And so all of these are actually upstairs as well. Um, these are the exact same things that I have growing upstairs in that smaller um, white ceramic basket planter. So I have more. Yes, yeah, so I like that. I have some growing down here, and I have some growing up there. And those are easy for my mom to access so she doesn't have to come all the way down here down the stairs to gather them she can just gather the ones that are up there but yeah so that's these guys and then these are all the um, collard greens that i have left and then over here i think i told you oh so it looks like the blackberries are coming back let's see that so there's some growth there and then some leaves coming up here, so the, that's coming back. And the other blackberry is coming back. So that'll be cool if we get some this year. All my herbs are doing well, so I went ahead and planted one of my peppers here. Went ahead and got the other one in the ground there. And then those are some sweet onions growing there. And I think I'm going to do some garlic here. Um, as well in that box so this is still open to use and when those other uh, plants start growing and getting bigger I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, area over more than likely I'm just gonna go ahead and remove all the herbs out of here and move those upstairs they're so tiny I think I can put them in like put them in like this take that up take this one and that other one the other large one there Take them both upstairs and kind of crowd those. I can't remember what you call it, but when you like crowd grow things together, really close together, I'm thinking I can kind of do that. And that way the fresh herbs will be up, upstairs on the balcony. And I can just use this for all the other um, things that I have growing up there once they get too big. But for now, I am very happy with this. This is really cool how it's turned out. And um, yeah, everything is getting situated and I already have plant food and everything. So let's go ahead and put that down. I have watered them already. And um, yeah, just waiting for everything to get acclimated and then they'll start growing. <laughs> 